Hi yogis, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a nice slow and gentle flow focusing on flexibility and mobility. So the difference between the two is flexibility is working on opening up your muscles and mobility is targeting joint function. So having a nice cohesion between the two in our practice today will really set you up for success and improve your overall well-being. So before we get going, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, I'll meet you on your mat. All right, you guys, let's get started. We're gonna begin today in a balasana, a child's pose. So make your way towards the back of your mat, bringing your toes to touch, spread your knees as wide as comfortable, and then sink your hips back towards your heels just until you feel nice, supported, and like you're getting a stretch in those hips. Walk your fingertips forward, relax your forehead down. Okay, so your version may not look like mine, and that's perfectly fine. Throughout this whole practice, take the variations and modifications that you need to support yourself. And if this is really uncomfortable, you can start in a different position, just anywhere where you can get still. Just start to tune in. Notice how you're feeling today. Notice where in your body you're feeling tension or tightness. And I know that this may be a lot for your first pose, so just give yourself grace. And let's take a full breath in together. Open mouth to exhale, push out the air. One more just like that. Full breath in. Open mouth to let go. Now start to breathe in and out of your nose from here. Finding a nice gentle ebb and flow of your breath. And then just slowly bringing your palms together here. And then bringing your thumbs towards the back of your neck walking your elbows forward, finding a nice stretch for your triceps and shoulders. A few more breaths will allow you to sink a little deeper into your hips. Slowly release your palms down and then make your way into a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Moving into some spine mobility here. On your inhale, drop your belly and gaze up. Really opening up through your chest, pulling your shoulder blades down and back. On that exhale, round through your spine, puff up through your shoulder blades, gaze at your belly button, feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Let's do a few more rounds of that. Inhale, drop your belly, find an arch, tailbone towards the sky. Exhale to round. Press into those palms and feel everything turn on as you tuck your chin under. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Meet me in a nice neutral spine here. And then reach your left fingertips all the way forward. So you're going to feel your core turn on here. Gaining a little bit of stability, start to send your right toes all the way back, okay? This is a nice strong pose, so just take a moment. Really reach through your fingers and toes. Take a breath in. On your exhale, pull your elbow to your knee as you round your spine. Feel that core engagement. Good. Inhale, reach back out, stretching wide. Exhale, pull it in. Last one, big breath in, big breath out. This time on your inhale, reach, pause and let your right knee come down and then reach that left arm all the way up, gaze up, take a couple rolls of your wrist and then on your exhale, thread the needle. So send it all the way under your body. Relax that shoulder down if it's possible. You can also relax your left cheek down as well. Remember, it may not look like mine. Maybe lift it a little bit. 
You may also have a pillow underneath your shoulder. That's a great prop to have here as well. Take a few rounds of breath in this nice gentle twist. Next inhale, press into that right hand, reach your left arm high, exhale back to a tabletop. We're gonna move right into the other side here. Send that left leg back, reach your right arm forward. Find stability by engaging your core. Take an inhale, exhale elbow to knee, round and tap. Go nice and slow here, really focusing on the mobility of the shoulder and the hip joint and the contraction of your core to build a little bit of stability. One more, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, reach back out. This time set that left knee down, reach that right arm high, roll out the wrist. Exhale, thread the needle, send it under and through, rest your right cheek down if that feels supportive. Breathe here. On your inhale, reach that right arm all the way back up and exhale, set the right hand down. You're gonna tuck your toes under from here. Send your hips all the way back on top of your heels and then just sit down on your feet. Okay, and this is gonna be a nice big stretch for our ankles, our toes. Really good to break up the fascia underneath our feet. Okay, we're gonna stay here for just a moment. We're gonna pull our right arm in front of us and on our exhale, loop it all the way across, hooking with our left elbow and pulling the palm open. So we're feeling the stretch in the front line of that right shoulder. And you also might be feeling some sensation in those toes, ankles, and Achilles. That's good. <laughs> Breathe here. Good, go ahead and let that right arm go. Send the left arm forward and then pull it all the way around as you hook it and gently pull. Now notice if that shoulder starts to creep up towards your ear, drop it all the way back down. Try to not attach to the feeling in your toes. Just breathe, know that this is good for you. One more inhale. Exhale, release, lean forward, plant your palms, and then just go ahead and pat out your toes. I know that was a lot of sensation. From here, slowly start to sit back on your heels. Now this may create a lot of sensation in your hips and ankles. Just be gentle with yourself. You can stay here for a moment or walk your fingertips behind you. Feeling a little stretch in your quads, maybe you start to lift those knees up to stretch the front line of your ankles. Take your own variation. One more breath in. Exhale, release those knees. Walk your hands all the way forward and then come all the way onto your belly. Once you arrive, zip those legs up together. Plant your palms by your shoulders and on your inhale, use your lower back for strength as you gently lift your chest. We call this baby cobra bhujangasana. On your exhale, lower back down. Good, inhale, gently lift your chest. Try to have little to no weight in your palms. Maybe they even lift with you. Exhale to release. One more big inhale, lift your chest. Exhale to release. From here, press yourself back up into that tabletop. Tuck your toes under, and on this inhale, lift your hips up and back, finding a downward facing dog. Now, I know you may be tight to start, and that's okay. Just bring your feet wide, bend your knees, take whatever you need to, to find a little bit of opening in the back of your legs, creating this inverted V shape with your hips. Once you're ready, find stillness, okay? Your heels may be lifted, you may have bent knees, wherever you are is perfectly fine. Just keep trying to send your chest back towards your thighs. Breathe here, we're only here for a little bit. We're not doing very many of these today, so let this one count. Really spread your fingers wide. Pay attention to all those little micro things happening in your body. Good, next inhale, look at your fingertips. Take your time, walk yourself about halfway towards your hands. 
once you arrive there, we're taking a ragdoll pose. So really easily just hanging over those legs, grabbing for opposite elbows and letting your body sway. So maybe your knees are still really bent. The main focus here is on relaxing your head, neck and shoulders so that your whole spine can decompress and let gravity do the work. Take a few breaths. Slowly release those fingertips. Toe heel your feet towards one another so you feel nice and sturdy. And then on your inhale, slowly rise up like you're stacking one vertebrae on top of the other. Leveling out through your spine. Once you stand up, reach those shoulders up to your ears. Drop them down your back. Let's do that again. Reach them up. Drop them down. Really nice work. On your inhale, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. So from here, you're going to bring your palms together. And then breathe in as you pull into your palms and open up through your chest. Now, you may not be able to interlace your fingers. That's okay. Maybe you just grab opposite elbows, or maybe it's just the directional pull. Big breath in. On your exhale, you're going to fold forward, bending at your knees, pulling your belly to your chest, and lifting those arms up and over. This is a huge shoulder stretch. So be very gentle. Maybe your hands only come an inch or two off of your spine, wherever you are. Once again, honor it and breathe there. One more inhale. Exhale, release those hands down. On your inhale, lift up halfway. So you'll bring your fingertips to your shins. You'll flatten through your spine. So this is almost like resetting your spine before we move forward. And then on your exhale, plant your palms. Go ahead and step that right foot in between your hands and take a big giant step back with your left foot. So you're just coming into this low lunge here. Okay, you're going to squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Really send your weight forward so that left shin comes forward in space and your weight is in that right foot. Next inhale, circle that right arm all the way up towards the sky. Now this may be a good place if you have a block to set it underneath that left hand or a pillow or a book or anything that works. And then on your exhale, loop that right arm all the way back down. Good, we're gonna take a few more of those. Inhale, circle it up, finding that full shoulder mobility here. Exhale, loop it back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back down, feel those inner thighs. Inhale, reach up. Good, on this exhale, lower that back knee, scoop that right arm down. And then on your inhale, press into your knee and your foot to lift your chest, engage your core and reach all the way up. Now, once you come up, start to send that left hip forward in space. Maybe wiggle your right toes forward so that the knee doesn't shift too far over the toes. Reaching up here, finding a big deep breath, and on your exhale, you're gonna to twist towards the right. Bring your left hand to the outside of that right leg and then open up that right arm. It may feel good to do that. It may feel good to bring the right hand to your right hip. Whatever version of this twist works for you, you're gonna feel it in that front left quad and hip flexor. Breathe here. With every exhale, finding just a micro movement deeper. Take a breath in. On your breath out, go ahead and release your hands down to blocks or the earth, and then work to straighten that right leg. And I know this is a lot, so just take your time. Remember, if you have blocks, you can be lifted up like this, okay? Now we're gonna take that right heel and we're gonna wiggle it over towards the left. Okay, so you want the heel to be directly in line with your left knee. And then from there, we're gonna pull those left toes down towards the left, towards the ground. Okay, you're gonna feel an IT band stretch right here. It's gonna turn on. Just walk your hands over to the right just a tad so that they're both to the outside of your right foot. From there, you can plant the palms, maybe gently bend into your elbows. Just breathe.
Very good. On your inhale, lift your chest. Start to bend back into that right foot. This time, wiggle the right foot all the way over to the opposite side of your mat, finding a lizard pose here. So you want the toes way in front of your knee here, okay? And then you're gonna sink your hips forward. You can stay lifted or you can come down onto your forearms. Really just depends on where you wanna be. Now this is a big stretch, okay? So just be gentle, don't go anywhere because you think you should be there. Go there because you feel like you can and you want to. Breathe into that outer right hip. Relax your head and neck. Good, slowly start to press into your palms, lift your chest. Keep that right foot where it is, tuck your left toes under, lift that left knee, and then bend into the left knee like you're winding up a spring, hop it forward to the outside of your left hand. From here, the heels come in and toes come out as you sink your hips low into a yogi squat, malasana. So in this yogi squat, your heels may be lifted, your hips may be lifted. There are so many different variations you can take here that work for you, but just press your palms together and use your elbows to press out on the inner knees. Lift your chest slightly. Breathe into your inner thighs and groin area. Just here for a few rounds of breath. One more inhale. One more exhale. Good, slowly release your hands. The relief comes from you lifting those hips up. Wiggle your feet out even further. Maybe as much as feels good here. Take a breath in, lift your spine halfway. Remember where we level out and reset. And then on your exhale, take a wide-legged forward fold. So walk your hands in between your legs, reaching the crown of your head towards the earth. This is also a very dramatic stretch for those hamstrings. So just be aware. Maybe start to send your weight into the toes. See how it feels. Good, next inhale. Start to walk your hands back forward. You can step your feet in towards one another. And then we're gonna stand all the way up here. Stand all the way up, reach your arms up, and then just take a little back bend. Open up through the chest, the hip flexors, full breath in. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. This time we're going to step our right leg back. Our left foot is in between our hands. We're taking the whole series on the other leg. Root down through the right palm. Big inhale, reach your left arm high, look up. Exhale, swing it back down. Couple more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, back down. Last one, big inhale. Exhale, down. At the same time, lower that back knee and then using that engagement in your core to reach up. Good, activating that breath here. Sending your weight forward into that right hip flexor. Maybe shift your gaze up. Breathe. Try not to dump into those hips, but lifting up and out while also feeling a nice stretch. One more breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna find that little twist. The right hand to the outside of your left leg, reaching that left arm all the way back or just to your hip, whatever feels best. Good, slowly start to come back to center. Release your hands down to the earth and straighten that left leg. Big stretch here, start to wiggle that left heel all the way over so it's in line with the right knee. So it's at a little bit of a diagonal. And then pull the left toes towards the left. Hands walk to the inside of that left foot. I know this is a lot, just breathe with me. Right, lean into your edge. Whenever you come to that point where you wanna give up, you wanna get out because it's too much, 
That is the point right before you break through. So stay with me. Keep flexing those toes back. One more inhale. Exhale, lean forward. Wiggle that left foot all the way up and over. Bend into the left knee. Send your hips forward as much as feels supported. Plant your palms on the earth to the inside of the left foot. Stay lifted or come down. If that back knee is feeling any pain at all, you can roll your mat under, grab a pillow, find something that can support you. Next inhale, slowly start to lift your chest from here. This time you're gonna lift that back knee and step back to a high plank. Take one big breath in. Exhale, come to your knees. Sit down on your heels and then loop those legs all the way around in front of you. Once you get here, sit up nice and tall, okay? You're going to bring your palms right by your sides. Try and press into the ground and lift your chest. So you feel really long through your spine. This is really good for aligning your posture, okay? And then engage your muscles so much that your legs straighten. Maybe the heels will lift without really lifting them per se, but because your legs are so straight and engaged, they lift. Press into your palms, sit up. Everything is activated, full breath in. On your exhale, relax those legs. Start to reach forward with a nice flat back. Start to reach for your toes. Maybe you just come an inch or two, you have a nice flat spine here and then you relax a little bit. Or maybe you start coming even further to where your belly connects with your thighs, reaching through the crown and then relaxing down. So utilizing your breath as a tool, with every inhale you'll feel yourself lift up a little bit with every exhale, you'll feel your body give in, sink deeper. Okay, so really just working with that breath to allow things to open. This is a direction, not a destination, so don't feel like you need to be anywhere different than where you are. Really good guys, next inhale, slowly start to lift up. You may need to scoot up on your mat just a tad because we're about to lie down. From here, send your palms out in front of you, flip them to face up and using your core, slowly lower all the way to your back, really slow. One vertebrae at a time. Once you get there, take a big good morning stretch. So reaching those arms up over your head, taking an inhale, Exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Once those knees are in your chest here, we're going to set our left foot down. Cross the right ankle over the left knee, moving into a little bit of hip mobility here. You're going to open up that right knee, creating a figure four with your legs. Now this may be enough for you. If so, just stay. If you want more, you can grab the back of your left hamstring and gently pull the whole arrangement towards your body. Keep that right foot flexed. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly lower that left foot, and then just send your right leg all the way to the sky. Good, from here, take a little roll of that right ankle. Another inhale. Exhale, release the right leg down. Cross the left ankle over the right knee, open up. Take whatever variation you took on the other side, maybe grabbing the back of the right hamstring. Gently release that right foot. 
Send your left foot up towards the sky. Little roll of the ankle, maybe pop the toes, and then release the left foot down. Both feet are side to side. You can reach your fingertips down. Maybe they will tickle the back of your heels. Once you get there, press into your feet and lift your hips up for a bridge pose. Good, pause right here, full breath in. Exhale, slowly lower those hips. Let's do two more of those. Inhale to lift. A little higher this time. Exhale to lower. This is the last one. Inhale to lift and hold. Start to wiggle those shoulder blades towards one another. Maybe you interlace your fingers behind your back. Breathe here. And slowly release those hips down. Take a moment. From here, you're gonna wiggle the inner soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out wide. Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. Shift one hand over your belly, one hand over your heart. Breathe. closer your heels are to your glutes, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel. So if you want less, maybe just walk those feet out just a little bit. Slowly bring your hands to the outside edges of your knees. Close them like a book. Wrap those knees back into your chest. Gentle wiggle left to right. From here, send your left leg all the way down to the ground and pull that right knee up and into the outside of your right ribs, giving all of your abdominal organs a little squeeze, a big breath in. And on your exhale, use that left hand to pull the right knee all the way over and across as you open up through your right arm, finding a little twist here. Gaze towards the right. Breathe in, back through center. Let's swap out sides, the right leg long, the left knee up and in. Give it a squeeze, feel that nice big stretch in your left hip and then on your exhale, send it across and open up, maybe gaze left. Once you feel complete, bring that knee back in. Both knees wrap in here. We're gonna give ourselves a big hug and gratitude, wrapping our arms around our shins, pulling that forehead to your knees, full breath in. Exhale, release your legs all the way to the edges of your mat. Your palms rest by your sides, wiggle your shoulder blades right underneath you. Allow your whole body to get soft and still. Those eyes to become heavy and closed. Unclench your jaw, release the crease in your brow. Allow your body to receive all of that work. Shavasana.
give yourself the gift of rest and stay here as long as feels right for you. When you're ready, begin to deepen your breathing. Let that breath inspire some movement in your fingers and toes. Maybe taking a big stretch with your arms and then rolling to the left or right. Relaxing your head on your bicep with a bend in your knees, taking a moment to transition. Slowly press your way to an easy seat. You can cross your legs here, send them out in front of you, just ending with our palms to touch at our heart space. Sharing a little bit of metta, a little bit of loving kindness with yourself for showing up on your mat today. As always, it's been my honor guiding you from my mat to yours. We'll take a gentle bow in honor of one another. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for moving with me today. Once again, make sure to comment and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. You can connect with me on Instagram at Kirstie Page. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on your mat. Peace.